Welcome to Prince Math Clinic, the e-learning solution at your pace and time. Good day viewers and welcome once again to class. Today we shall be examining differential calculus. And just a little background to differential calculus. When you say differential calculus, you simply means looking for slope. Slope could also mean changing y over changing x. We are asked to find the derivative of the following with respect to x using first principle. Derivative simply means to differentiate. So we are given x squared 1 over 2x plus 1 and square root of x minus 1. So let's see how we can solve all of this question. The first question says x squared. The first thing you need to do is to say let y be equals to x squared. Then the next thing you would do is to say increase in y, which you say y plus change in y. This is small delta and this is capital delta, right? So I prefer to use the small delta. You can choose to use the capital delta. There is no crime in it. Then x, yeah, you put x plus change in x. But here x is squared. So therefore, you square this. Then the next thing to do is to say y plus dy. I want to expand this. And expanding this means I need to say I square x because this is squared, x squared. Then I take this to multiply this, that is x dx. This x is different from this x. So x dx, right? Then multiply it by 2. x, then dx. Then I will square this dx. So this becomes dx squared. So the next step I need to take is to move y to this part. So if I move y, I will have the y to be equals to x squared plus 2x dx plus dx squared minus y. And from the beginning, we said that let y be x squared. So my y, the y becomes x squared plus 2x dx plus dx squared the minus since y is x squared i'm going to replace it with x squared so at this point x squared can cancel x squared because x squared minus x squared is zero so I take them off so my dy is now 2x dx plus dx squared. Then the next step for me is to divide both sides of the equation by dx. Divide dy by dx and everything here by dx. So if I do that, I will have dy dx to be equal to 2x dx over dx plus dx squared over dx. So dx here we cancel dx, so I'm left with 2x. Then dx squared we cancel one of the dx, so I'm left with dx here. So it then means that I have 2x plus dx left. So let me write that down. 2x plus dx is what I have left. Then the next stage is to take limits. limit as dx tends to zero so therefore dy over dx is equal to now dx tends to zero means wherever you have dx now put zero there right so once you put zero in dx you are left with just 2x so therefore dy dx becomes 2x that is the result 
to this particular question. Now, the second question says that 1 over 2x plus 1. So let y be 1 over 2x plus 1. So the next thing is to say increase in y, which is y plus the y is equals to 1 over, anywhere you see x now, you are going to put x plus dx, then plus 1. Good. Then the next thing to do is to say dy equal to 1 over 2 x plus dx, right? Then remember you have a plus 1 here. Then minus y. I know that my minus y is 1 over 2x plus 1. So I will replace this with 1 over 2x plus 1. So at this stage, what do I need to do? I need to expand this bracket. Therefore, dy is equals to 1 over 2x here. Then here you have 2dx. Then you have just plus 1 here. Then minus... 1 over 2x plus 1. Now, we need to look for the LCM here and do the necessary thing. So this is what I'm going to do, dy. Just take this, multiply by 1. So you have 2x plus 1. Then you have a minus, and the minus will affect everything here. This times this will give you everything here, but the minus will affect everything here. So this becomes minus 2x, minus 2dx, minus 1. Now, everything over the product of this and this, which is 2x plus 2dx plus 1, multiply by 2x plus 1. So at this stage, 2x minus 2x will go. Then 1 minus 1 will also go. So what do we have? It means that our dy will be equal to, so I'm left with just negative 2 dx over everything I have here, which is 2x plus dx plus 1. Then 2x plus 1. So at this stage, it's where you divide with what dx. When you do to the right, you do to the left. So this becomes 2 dx over 2x plus dx plus 1 then 2x plus 1 then since you are dividing by dx and you divide by dx if you say divided by dx it will not turn to times 1 over dx so dx here we cancel dx here we are now left with dy dx equal to 2 over 2x plus dx plus 1 then 2x plus 1 at this stage you now take limit dy dx is equal to limit as dx tends to 0 so that dy dx will now be 2 over anywhere I see dx, I'm going to put 0. So this becomes 2x plus 1. Then multiply by another 2x plus 1. 
So I can choose to leave the answer like that, or I will say my answer is 2 over 2x plus 1, because it is 2x plus 1 in two places, that is squared. That's the value of my dy over dx. Now, the third question is square root of x minus 1. So, as usual, say let y be equal to square root of x minus 1. Then, the next thing to do is to say increase in y, which is y plus dy. Then, everything is inside the bracket, so put it in the bracket, so this becomes x plus dx, put this in a bracket, then minus 1, all in a square root. So the next stage is to what? Is to make the y stand alone. So this becomes square root of x plus dx minus 1. Then, remember when positive y crosses, it becomes negative y. And we have said that y is equal to this. So therefore, x plus dx minus 1 minus the, our y square root of x minus 1. Now, when you see something like this, don't panic because these are two radicals. The only way to take out these two radicals is to what? Multiply because this is as good as saying all over 1. So what I'm going to do is to multiply. Take this everything here as if you have square root of A minus square root of B over 1. So I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. What does conjugate mean? It means take the square root of A, then assign the opposite Right, the reverse of this is positive over square root of A plus square root of B. So it's as good as saying this is 1 over 1. So this square root of A minus square root of B really have not changed. But because we want to eradicate the square root at the numerator, we've done that. From this stage now, I have my dy to be equal to now, when you multiply this and this, this is what will happen. This, we multiply this. The square root will go. So you are left with x plus dx minus 1. Then if this multiplies this, the two of them will match together. Remember, the sign is positive. Then if this multiplies this, it will be negative. So those two will cancel out so that when this negative multiply this positive it will be negative then what is in the square root is the same so leave it as x minus one all over what you have here which is square root of x plus dx minus one then plus x minus one so that dy will not be, when you open this bracket, you have x plus dx minus 1. Then the negative we expand, open this, minus times minus will turn to plus. Everything over square root of x plus dx minus 1 plus square root of x minus 1. So when you open the bracket, yeah, x we cancel x minus one we cancel plus one. So I have dy to be equal to dx over now I have square root here x plus dx minus one plus square root of x minus one. So now I want to divide both sides by dx now. So dy over dx. By the time I divide this portion by dx, it will now be dx cancel dx. So we are left with 1 over square root of x plus dx minus 1 plus 
square root of x minus 1. So at this stage, we take limits. So the y over dx will now be the limit as what dx tends to 0, which means that the y dx will be 1 all over. If you put this to be 0, so you have x minus 1 in square root, right? Remember, it's a square root. <coughs> then you have remember is the square root so this is zero so this will be x then minus one in square root then this is another x minus one in square root by the time you add the two of them together it becomes two root of x minus one so hence dy over dx is 1 over 2 root x minus 1. That is the result to the particular question. Hope the solution was helpful. Kindly click on the subscribe button. Share this video to your friends and loved ones. And let's all have fun together. Thank you.